All right, so a little back history. These two, these two played at the last St. Louis tournament, and I have never heard more Johns. What was it, St. Louis? Oh, okay. It's somewhere in Missouri, on the other side of the border. I got some photo friend coaching going on, so I guess by the time they're ready to play, but just a little back history on this match. We got Bones lost to run DMX, and that kid was the uh, saltiest Halo file I have ever seen in my life. He's talking about John, oh, I killed myself, all kinds of stupid things. I'm like, man. He was a fool for thinking that. He's gonna wander, wander the hell blind and deaf and think this is the guy that almost beat Run DMX. Hype. <laughs> shout out to Fino. Shout out to Fino. Mewtwo is broken. All right, hey, turn off those TVs. Hey guys, turn off those TVs. If you wanna play a friendly, go to the other room. But you shouldn't play a friendly, you should stay in here and yell at the TV. It's the hype rule. It's the money rounds, dude. Yeah, cheer. <laughs> Start waving it, you know, just get that money going. <laughs> and we're, we're in Lawrence, so we got our hometown here on Lawrence Bones. Definitely the crowd favorite, I would think. But Run DMX is kind of a uh, cult hero for the Brawl community because he plays Meta Knight. Everybody just kind of bows down at the church of Meta Knight and just loves the guy, too. So it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to say who to root for. Just say if Ryan Brawl, wins. Also. We're all getting I don't understand tonight. either. I would just down there off stage and die. It is now. So I gotta change that uh, title real quick here before. Uh, oh, good, good late. About bedtime for me. Yeah, it's good to see you. All right, so we're starting out loser semis right now. We're uh, we got that match going, that heist building definitely. And right now we got Bones opening up with an early lead. Come on, Bones! Bones with that forward air picks up, tries to finish him off early right there. Nice up air, giving Dakota station. Gets that back air right now and, and Red DMX makes a little bit of trouble. Ooh, Ball's very good put away. He comes out with an early oh, lead. Big tail. Oh, got that big tail. Got that big tail putting in. All right, and we got Bones trying to put up some more damage. Almost a full sock ahead. Somebody ate his Wheaties this morning and came to play. Maybe, maybe, uh, Bones is not the John Otron 9000. He had legitimate reasons why he lost that last time. It's just, uh, proving the crowd around. Maybe he leveled up. Maybe he went from, like, level 70 to 71 from YouTube. Who knows, but... Ate that rare candy. <laughs> you ate that not rare that candy. <laughs> but he didn't work right now, but he's a full stock ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when, when Bones freaking tries for once in his life at something. I mean... My god, this guy is like the most notorious sandbagger of all time, so if he were to fall behind in this game, I can already hear it now. I was just sandbagging, guys, no big deal. <laughs> Puts that up throw and that won't kill. Probably needed about 10 more percent to put it away, maybe even five. But right now we got Run DMX trying to fuse the brawl player, but he gets hit off by that up here. Doesn't put away that stock quite yet. That tornado has recovery, not safe enough, and once again showing him the the big the big tail. There we go. That dash attack is real right now. Gets that neutral air. Very good pressure game right there. Gets that grab. And Run DMX trying to mount a little comeback here. But he gets grabbed out of that. Bond's not having any of it. No fear right there. We don't use hashtags in real life, Tony. Dang.
both, both players popping a nuke right there. Run DMX is leading to a kill. And he's back on the same stock, putting a little bit, or closing the gap a little bit, not completely. But speaking of closing the gap, oh, very good reversal there by by Bones. Puts himself back in the driver's seat, takes control in order to restore it. And you can kind of see the fear on uh, Bones' part with the uh, that tornado. He doesn't realize that the priority is a little bit different in this game than Brawl, kind of that Brawl history. That up here is not enough to kill. Very smart tornado. He gets that forward tilt and Big tail. orders restored. Let's see what Bonds can do to put away this game. Oh my god, almost power shield reflected that. That would have been a huge pickup if he got that kill through that. Pops a nuke, resets the uh, neutral game. I don't like that word. You should stop saying it. And right now, Bonds just mounting that full, rebuilding that lead. Gets that oh, forward smash. Oh, oh, and it, oh the brawl oh, player takes game one. Pride oh, of Lawrence. We got Bones. Run DMX, very matter of fact, just say Bands. He was, you know, he's not having any of that. And this is still loser semis. We're in that best of three. We got some hype in the building. Everybody, everybody in the venue watching this game. <laughs> We got that Lawrence scene willing Bones to victory, and we got everybody else kind of ready for the People's Hero Run DMX. So, be interesting to see who takes what. And Run, Run DMX is doing a very veteran play, just taking a step back and analyzing where he's going to go next. Really thinking this one through. A message to Fino. Fuck you. From Bones. <laughs> we got we got Fino doing a live play by play via text message. On here. All right, he's ready. Got the counter pick of Fountain of Dreams, and this is where the dream either becomes a reality or a nightmare here for Bones. Let's see if he can take this, or we got Run DMX battling in. I don't know. I like this stage for uh, for Bones here because he's got he's got that camouflage going on. He just blends in. Yeah, he is hard to see. This this is true, especially when he disappears like that via uh -huh. spot dies. That is that is difficult. He got he can drop a pin in this venue right here. It's like a library. All these reads going on by the players, just <laughs> silent. Come on, guys. Let's make some noise. Bring the hype. And right now, Bones with that up smash, that'll take it. Oh, I thought that was going to be the kill. That was a very good read. Jace with that player knowledge. Found a Dreams has the high ceiling. Who knows what heights you can go to in your dreams. Throws it up there. I don't know. That'll kill, though. Up throw. Yeah, it's a very intelligent counter pick. Let's go, Bones. Veteran plays. Veteran plays. Down smash, not enough to KO. And you kind of see uh, Run DMX kind of giving him the stage back right there. You kind of want to see him try to take a little bit more of a stand, you know, try to kill him when he can. Ooh. He does get the shuttle up and ties it. Yeah, Bones just standing on the Halo platform thinking about Bones, what he's going to do. Take the ledge and time him out. Very, very, very patient option right there. Just holds his shield and waits for the mistake. This is that tech chase read. He got the read. He just kind of overshot. And that's going to pay for it. Very good fake. A little, little bit of uh, sequencing there on movement. Some uh, good options. Gets that shuttle open. Brawl, that would have killed him. But that's a, that's a, the hitbox a little different in this game. Ooh. Yeah, Run DMX scouting that teleport to forward air, counters it with the downer option. Gets that shuttle loop, that Mewtwo King style follow up with the glide attack for the kill. And gets that revenge kill, and we're tied up. Game two. Come on, Bones. Let's do it. And 
Remember, the, the loser of this gets zero money for this, so I'm sure both players are feeling, feeling it a little bit. That's where you start getting a little nervous. Late bracket, everybody's watching. Mom's You're going to analyze all of your mistakes. <laughs> And the stream is calling for balls to stop sandbagging. We got that Frodo sandbagging's going out right now. Boxes, Bilbo sandbaggings. And right now, it looks like Run DMX has figured out something that Bonds does not know about because he's just a total turnaround from, from game one. I don't know, I wouldn't count Bones out just yet. Man is clutch. Get some very good forward air spacing right there. Just outranges that back air. Oh, there's a little slip and slide to forward smash right there. A little slip and slide to forward smash right there. He's not dead yet. Let's see if he can mount something and put in some damage, but that crouch cancel lets him. Uh oh. That down smash doesn't kill. I'm sure Run DMX wanted that one, but he gets that neutral air. Pops a newt. <laughs> it's best of three. And we're coming to that climax to game three. And I don't know what I would do if I'm Bones there. I, you know, I just had control game one. I lost game two. Just got to take a step back, evaluate, just rethink my life. I mean, if I were him, my game plan would be to stop sandbagging and to actually try. That would be my uh, that would be my, my my game plan. Yeah. <laughs> Run DMX, of course, playing not only for money but also a sandwich from from Trey, of course. Oh, we got Yoshi's on bro. We're going home. <laughs> going home. That Lawrence, Kansas favorite. And we got game three. I approve this counter pick. And right now we got. Bones. And it's so close and so even between these two. And right now, Run DMX exercising some advantage. Ooh, that's scary. I would not go down there. Uh, questionable up smash, but you know, sometimes uh, you just gotta go for it. Even if they're halfway across the stage, no big deal. Very good tech chase read. Use that uh, shadow ball as a frame trap right there. I didn't pin, so you had to make an option, make a choice. That grab range is huge. You see him like grabbing him straight out of that nair. This is true. You can tell he's the ultimate sandbagger. He's a psychic type, he can do anything from wherever, but decides only to have like certain ranges on things. And right now, Bones with a slight lead, gets that grab. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, he gets that back here. He doesn't catch him sleeping on that DI. We, I think we're all expecting that up throw. It goes for that little back throw. Catches him, catches him off guard a little bit. And he's playing with that brawl like patience, kind of waiting it out. But run DMX. Run DMX here, he's gotta, you know, get that kill. Not, it's not too urgent yet, he's still early in the game. Got a few stocks to work with, but he's got to make something happen pretty soon here. He can't fall too far behind. Let's see if this is where that magic happens. He's... He's off stage in a little bit of trouble, you know. Take, I'm sure he did not want to take 90% of the stock before he got that kill. Not even didn't want to take 100 either, I'm sure. And that damage count is mounting up, and he picks up that stock and says... You know, I'm still here, I'm still standing. And Bond, Bones with that up air, and that's gonna be a kill, it's a full stock lead. And Bones true to form, as I told him, to stop sandbagging, he just says, I'm gonna play now. It's a totally different game than game two. Could be a little bit of the counter pick effect in it as well, but you know, it's funny to think it's because he was just sandbagging the entire time. <laughs> And 
right now, just, uh, you know. Yes, they're playing pretty close to neutral. It's just, you know, D Dakota's just not, like, really putting any together heavy punishes, but he really needed that pickup right there, and he got it. That's just something that if he comes back and he wins it, he can look up at it. that exchange and said, that's the play I needed, and that's the one I got. But he's got to make something of it now, too. Yeah, that's the hard part about playing from behind. You can make that magic happen, but you got to also, you know, continue to continue that climb up the hill. That up throw is going to do it, and order is restored. Bones a full stock ahead coming into that final stock of loser semis. Looks like he wants that, that at least third place money. Saying, I'm not just playing for third place, I'm playing to win the tournament too. Don't forget that. Both them crouch canceling right in front of each other, just kind of hitting each other going nowhere. That's like my favorite part of the game. That shadow ball, good spacing, just picks it up. But we got Run DMX making a little magic hammer. Let's see if he can mount a comeback. Gets that shuttle loop, doesn't kill. Yeah, that would have been a big pickup because, uh, you know, he was still at low percents. Very, very ballsy neutral early. <laughs> he just went for it. He's got a huge lead here. Pride and Lawrence might be taking it, and he gets it. All right. We got Bones, Bones moving into losers' finals. The hero of Lawrence.